Happy New Year, everyone. I hope that you had a great celebration of the end of 2022 and the beginning of 2023. I'm here with Frankie, my younger of the two cats. He loves the Christmas tree, um, but he's not allowed to go up into it. And I hope that this celebration of the beginning of this new year will be a time of great renewal for all of us. Yesterday, January 1st, we celebrated Mary, the mother of God. Uh, we also, as you know, celebrated my dad's birthday and my anniversary of ordination. And for me, it's hard to believe that this year marks the beginning of my 24th year of priestly service. And I'm just so glad I've had so many of those years with you here. Next weekend, we'll be celebrating the Epiphany. That's the day of the three kings, uh, what we call the manifestation of Christ's light and love beyond the chosen people, really, to all people of the world. And that includes cats as well, right? So Frankie is very, very happy here with me. And he got some really great toys uh, for Christmas. We've been playing with them. And if you remember from two weeks ago, when I had my interview with Santa, I asked him for a Tesla. And the really cool thing is, is that Santa came through. And I can't wait to show you my, um, my, my Tesla that I got from Santa. So I'm gonna go, go to a little video clip right now so you can see me racing around in it. And then I'll come back in a second. So I had to let Frankie go because I couldn't hold the car and hold him at the same time. But as you can see, this is what uh, Santa gave to me. And I'll bring it in a little bit closer to you there. So you can see, I think next year, I'm gonna have to specify a little bit more with Santa exactly what I had in mind. But anyway, all joking aside, I really do hope and pray that this period of our new year will be a period of great uh, dreaming for all of us, that there will be more peace in the world, that this war in Ukraine will finally end, that there'll be great prosperity uh, in our nation throughout the entire world, and that there really will be a time of peace and less polarization and less politicization of our world. So on behalf of all of our priests here and our entire staff, I do once again wish you all a very happy, healthy, and above all, holy new year. We'll see you next weekend at church. And uh, until then, let us all remain united in prayer. God bless you.